Are you a fan of Spotify? Well, did you know this very popular American app came from the country of Sweden? Sweden is located on the Scandinavian peninsula in Northern Europe. My own grandfather was actually adopted from this country, so I have little preconceived knowledge on this country. While Sweden is better known for its beautiful landscapes, they also have very formal etiquette that they continue to follow. Sweden is a European country with a long line of history that holds people to a much more conservative standard. Swedes are also known to be very formal and proper with both their verbal and nonverbal forms of communication. Swedish etiquette is one for respecting those whose titles are above you until they deem that it is okay to be more relaxed. The location, history, and people of Sweden can be viewed as very unique to many other cultures. Sweden is located in Northern Europe and holds much history going all the way back to 8000 BC. The capital of Sweden is Stockholm, and this country, while it is big, only has a population of over 10 million. When first inhabited, people lived by hunting, fishing, and gathering. The Viking Age is a very well-known time in Swedish culture. This started around 800 AD, where Vikings set off from Sweden for trade opportunities. It was around this time where this country got converted to Christianity. However, this time period was before the founding of the kingdom. The different provinces of Sweden were developed into a single unit. The crown became a big influence during the late 13th century. However, the most recent form of democracy is the government derived from the people of Sweden. Shockingly, Swedish is not the official language of Sweden. The two major languages in this country are Sami and Romani. The people of Sweden are also known as Swedes, are often known to be very soft-spoken and respectful of others. They are said to rather listen to others than speak their own thoughts. Swedes stay calm and collected most of the time, and it is very rare to see someone demonstrate strong emotion in public. Hospitality and kindness is never overlooked, and it would be rude to not give thanks to those who demonstrate this. While Swedes do work hard, they never neglect finding time to enjoy themselves and spending time with family and friends. Competition is not very encouraged in Swedish culture. They are said to raise their children with the idea that they are equal to others and no one is more special than the other. Swedes are also known for their respectful manners and gestures in both verbal and nonverbal communication forms. Swedes are fairly conservative and proper within verbal communication and like to address those with their proper titles. Thank yous are always a necessity in any proper affairs. A firm handshake with a proper intro introduction of yourself is a very important in this culture. They will always address their hosts with the proper surnames and only use first names if given the proper permission. Small talk is not a very common concept in this culture. Especially in business meetings, people will jump straight into the important topics of conversation. No one voice should overpower others or the group. Everyone is expected to contribute to the conversation. Saying exactly how you feel and what you mean is an important part of this culture as well. People tend to be very direct in conversation. When it comes to conversations of negotiation, Swedes are supposed to always remain cool and collected. If you demonstrate emotion in this conversation, you will get a much negative reaction. When it comes to nonverbal communication, Swedes tend to also take this form of communication very seriously. Swedes engage in much respect for others' personal space, and they do not like for it to be invaded. They will typically stand far apart from one another and do not engage in a lot of public affection as well. They will always maintain eye contact with others in any type of conversation, whether it is casual with friends or in a business meeting. Avoiding eye contact in this culture is viewed as a sign you are not interested in the conversation. Punctuality is a very important concept in Swedish culture. You are not to arrive late as it is rude and never too early. It is common to wait in your car if you are to arrive at an event early, right on time is the perfect time to arrive anywhere. Handshakes are an important aspect of nonverbal communication. You are to give a firm handshake when you first arrive as an introduction, but also once you leave. It would be viewed as polite to not do both. When speaking, Swedes never use excessive hand gestures. The people of Sweden are known for never showing up empty-handed to places where they have been invited. They are very well educated on respect for others and take it to a high expectancy. If you are invited to someone's home in Sweden, you must always bring something if you want to be respected. A simple bouquet of flowers or a box of chocolates are a common courtesy to bring. If you are to bring flowers, however, they must never be white lilies as these are common at funerals. As a host, when you receive a gift, it is expected that you open it upon receiving it. 
If the host has children, you are to bring something small for the children, such as candy. However, it is never common to bring a gift to any type of business events. Also, you should never give crystals or things made in Sweden as a gift. Swedes tend to be known as conservative when it comes to dressing as well as their etiquette during any type of entertainment. The fashion of Sweden is both fashionable and often casual. It is typical for the clothing to be of European style. The clothing is typically warm due to the fairly cold climate. It is very important to this culture that people are well dressed in public at all times. They hold clothing and fashion to a high standard. Business attire is also commonly conservative. Men are expected to wear suits with silk ties as well as shirts. While women are also expected to dress conservative, they often wear either suits or dresses as well. It is expected for you to never wear anything flashy in this type of business environment. That would be very much negatively affect your character. Even senior directors are expected to dress on the same level as their workers. When it comes to dining, they are also very proper in this area as well. You cannot take a drink until your host has given a toast. Before putting your glass down, you must make eye contact and nod with the others present. Dinner is typically served right away in this culture and it is not common for any type of cocktail hour. If you need something, it is expected of you to politely wave down your waiter and make eye contact. The meal will only end once the male guest of honor taps his glass with a knife or spoon and thanks the host on behalf of all the guests. The female guest of honor must next also thank you the, thank the host. As you can probably tell from this speech, the Swedish culture is one of high respect for others. This European country has a long history of power and trade with people who hold much respect for their culture. Verbal and nonverbal communication is held with many standards contributing to respect of others within their community. Swedish etiquette is best known for making sure you don't overstep your boundaries with those above you and never going out of standards within the culture. Sweden may be known for their landscapes, but the culture behind this country is greatly influenced by respect. I hope you have gained much insight into this impressive country that is Sweden. In the images below, there's one where they're giving a toast because it is very common and very well known that in the culture, every time they make a toast that you cannot start eating or drinking until the host makes a toast to everyone. And there's also a picture of common day-to-day -day wear that they wear, which is European style. And there's also a picture of two people giving a handshake and eye contact because that is the most common way for people to greet one another.